you always see familiar faces, you're always going to bump into someone you know. Looking back now, there's such naivety and innocence in your time in school. I'd be positive, of course, but um, like there's certain things that it can't go right for everyone all the time. And you know, I always wanted to do well and stuff, and, and subjects you were struggling that you couldn't get your head around. Um, although you're good in other areas, it wreck your head that you couldn't be good at some of the stuff. I was terrible at languages. Um, you know, I remember being in first year, I just couldn't get French. Do you know what I mean? As simple as it sounds, but it used to wreck my head that I couldn't be good at French. And same with Irish and English, really. I, I just wouldn't be that way inclined, could we say, that way. You know, it might seem like the world is on your shoulders, especially that kind of going into the senior cycle in school and, you know, you're talking to career guidance counsellors about college and what you want to do and you're looking up the pints and you're like, how the hell am I going to get there? In rugby, there used to be a thing where if you're, if you're not, like, really sick in the stomach and so nervous, there's a fear you wouldn't play well where now we want to go out to the pitch and, and throw a, a show a truly the best version of ourselves out there and play it as well as we can and to do that we have to be free and we have to be confident so we work a lot on if you are feeling boxed in if you're feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders if you're worried about just say who you're going to scrummage against who you're coming up against are you worried about I'm, I'm worried it won't play well on the big stage. It's about talking to your teammates and it, it makes a massive difference. There's a school weight in terms of, like, you might be academic, you might not be, you might be struggling at a subject, you mightn't have a good relation with a teacher, etc. And, you know, you can talk to, to your friends about it, you can talk to, like, no matter who you are in school, I guarantee it is a teacher that you, you, you click with or, there's uh, a coach on the sports team that you click with and you can understand. Everyone has one of those people. Well, how Welcome are you back. Now? Are you well? I'm good, how are you? Welcome back. Yeah. You know, the way you taught technology and I was, I suppose I liked it, you know what I mean? I, I yeah. liked it, I liked having it right, I liked spending my time to it and, you know, I felt comfortable around you. So, you know, although I probably never reached out in memory to you, I suppose, uh, except, you know, I did. Do you remember with leaving Sir Gear, we were, me and Eddie Breen in the car, and I reversed into Sheila Doyle's car. Do you remember that? No. Ah, oh, here. And then... Um, you reversed? Yeah, and I, got, I was with Eddie Breen in the car, and I, I go, Eddie, go out and check that, and he, Eddie said in his stutter, it's okay, it's okay. So then I drove on, next thing I got a call from, you called me on Sheila Doyle, we just tipped our car. Now, we didn't do much damage, but I she was in the pastoral care looking at I think I remember it. Yeah, yeah, do you remember that? I remember, I, I had yeah. to get you to smooth it over for me, anyway, it was all right. <laughs> uh, there was no stress. Kids will come to you. If there's something that's yeah. nagging them or something that's annoying them, they will come to you and they will maybe look for a little bit of advice or some way that they can maybe sort out a little, yeah. you know, if they're having a problem with a teacher or a problem with another student, they will come to you and they will ask and they will hopefully find a solution to. It's just very important that they have the confidence and they know that like, you have their best interest in heart and, yeah. and, and you will help and we're just trying to pump out the message that problem, problem shared, shared problem, the problem, the problem halved. Halved. Yeah. That's it. TYF Schools gives you the tools and the resources to manage your mental well-being effectively.